It was just over a week ago, uh, I was surfing Facebook. A thing about Boardwalk Empire popped up on my feed and it turned out it was a contest. And read through it and I'm like, oh, that'd be really cool. That's our favorite show. It'd be neat to go do a Boardwalk in Empire experience. Basically what you had to do is go through the booking process as if you were trying to book a place for the Boardwalk Empire. And then when you were done, you had to put in a 300 word essay about why you were the perfect fit for the trip. Uh, so I filled all that out and, and uh, talked a little bit about our photography and what we do with our studio specializing in 20s and 30s photography and the fact that we have five and a half year old twins that we could really use a little bit of a getaway. I jokingly said, hey, I put us in for a Boardwalk Empire trip, so don't plan for anything for next week. We're going to be in Chicago. Didn't really think anything. At some point during the weekend, she said, what are we doing next week? I said, nothing. We're going to be in Chicago. Just joking. Cause it's it's like, yeah, right. No way. We're never going to win this. Nobody ever wins this stuff. So our art department, who worked on this, um, just sourced every single piece in here. Um, the process was they would send us pictures of what we wanted, and we would comp them into the room. Um, and so we kind of had this layout set up before we actually moved in here. But for the most part, like these little details, um, the art department really just added everything. Um, this was kind of our, our hero piece, as well as the um, couch. These just really make the room. And the wallpaper was the big thing that our um, creative department really wanted. And it absolutely made this feel like the 1920s. I think without it, it would have been a lot more challenging. That took about, it was probably an eight or nine hour day just doing the wallpaper. And then they spent another eight or nine hour day bringing in the furniture and placing it. And then we just kind of like messed around with little things, filled whiskey bottles with water and things like that. And so within three days, it, it was this. You know, the first thing you see when you walk in the door is the hat and the coat on the hanger over there. And it's like, oh, Nucky's here. <laughs> it's, it looks like a hat and a coat that he would have worn. And I think immediately we were taken by the wallpaper uh, because we didn't expect that. And then just getting in here and seeing all the details, uh, the attention to detail is great. Uh, even like behind us on the table right behind us here, there's a wooden box. And we're like, oh, check out the wooden box. Open it. It's in a humidor and it's actually got cigars in it. So, I mean, it's just little things like that, the, the completeness of it. But we had no idea, we even spoke on our way here, what is it going to be like? We have no reference for what it would look like a hundred years ago to a high-end home a hundred years ago, what the amenities would be like. I walked in, it was so beautiful and just so vintage and the way, I guess, a rich person would have lived a hundred years ago. It was really beautiful. Even the kitchen, if you notice the Tiffany-style uh, chandeliers there, or the lights, those weren't there. They're, they had modern lights there and they switched out the modern lights to the Tiffany style chandeliers. The sitting room is one of my favorites. I think the furniture in there is just fantastic. Um, all of the details, all of the artwork on the walls, everything just came together. And a lot of these um, pieces here, like this lamp with the um, frill on it, that really, those were really big things, important things that our team wanted, just because the lamps were all over the homes in that era. We, we definitely referenced the show. We, we had created a mood board directly from the show showing exactly what we wanted, what we were looking for. And so we, we mimicked um, those screen grabs. I loved the bowl of candies. Literally, I think when Jessica walked me in here to show me the place, the first thing I saw was I'm like, you have lemon drops. And I, I grew up loving lemon drops. And I hadn't seen them probably since I was a child. And I walked right over and grabbed a lemon drop. I'm like, are these real? Can I eat one? She's like, yeah. So that dish is about half what it was when we got here. <laughs> to us, it was neat to be in Logan Square and kind of experience, you know, a part of Chicago that we would think most tourists don't usually get to. They just hit the tourist hot spots and, you know, you don't really get to know a city that way. You get to know their hot spots that were made for tourists and that's it, but things that are made for tourists don't really tell you much about a city, so. Yeah, well, somebody, we told a couple of friends of ours, hey, yeah, we're going on the boardwalk experience. So like. We hope it's not the full boardwalk experience because yeah, most of those people die. <laughs>